from East Coast LQ Views. Today, we got another beer review. And uh, I got a bunch of people here with me today. We got BJ Drinks Beer. I don't have Brutiful YouTube. Horror on yes, Instagram. I have Brutiful Horror, which is my podcast. My podcast. Okay. Spotify and Apple. Nice. Yes. Alex Beer Master. What is up, everybody? Thomas Mel 75. What is also, up, everybody? Uh, Master's Beer Cheers. Sure. And uh, today we actually got something pretty special. So this is from Fox Farm Brewery. Um, this is their barrel aged freckled fields. So Ooh. it's a farmhouse ale. This and was, I believe, was between 15 to 20 bucks. So this is a 750 mil. It's 5.5 percent alcohol by volume. This is batch number three, bottled June 22nd. Ooh. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll crack this open. Fox Farm, they're out of uh, Salem, Connecticut. They don't distribute, so you actually have to go there to get their stuff. I've never seen them. Before. But they make a lot of um, really good beers. Legendary container, kind of similar to Trias and Troyer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cool. with their distribution. Awesome beer. I mean, I'm definitely curious. The uh, barrel aged, you know, <clears throat> five point. Ooh. Was it like percent? Five five. Yeah. Five five five. Champagne. You're gonna have some nice flavor with like low ABV, which is like really a nice. Uh, definitely uh, different from those. 15% other half beer, uh, beers that I drink. <laughs> other half beers are good. I, I might even order some other half stuffs just to age. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I can't. I and to, have, and to have some with BJ. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have that much. I want to do that. that something to age. <laughs> I have a couple beers in my closet. I'm, I'm serious. Beers. I have a couple. Of, yeah. Thank you, Chief. I'm sorry. I'm going to the world. Sorry. Thank you, Chief. Did you know? Don't hold out, idiot. <clears throat> All right, color, appearance, go. It's a uh, nice, like hazy um, straw color. Straw lemon. Yeah, you definitely get that like straw, just you know, that nice hazy color. Not really much of a head though. It's not, it doesn't really have much. Uh, nah, head there's no head on this. And uh, uh, that, there's really not much effervescence either. You got a little bit more. You just pour. You just got four really months still sitting. Yeah, it looks nice. I actually can get a little bit of the acidity, like the you can smell the yeah. sour, like just kind of vinegary. Yes, it needs Yeah, I love that. I love that acidic. Well, I'm saying I, I haven't sad. smelled it either. Just holding it from here, you, like you can smell the. I got little a bit slight of that cold, acidic. and that is wide open and acidic in the oh, nose. Yeah. Well, let's go for the nose, everyone. Sure. Wake up, babe. Yeah. That's definitely like, oh, like wow, lambic acidicness. Like yeah. That, like, oh, a little bubble gum. Got more bubble gum too. Uh, it's like, um, I want to say apple, maybe? Yes. I was about to say yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green yeah. apple. That does smoke, and not a sweet apple kind of thing. I mean, definitely vinegary a little bit. But mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going with all that. Yeah, you can smell that too, but there's an apple in them, yeah. Lemon juice and vinegar in that. So it does kind of have a little bit of that, like, um, barnyardy kind of. Absolutely. Like, that um, funk, the, yeah. the, the, the yeasty, Farm fra bar. grassy farmhouse funk yeah. thing. Fresh cut grass and hay. Damp, yeah. wet hay. I like, uh, it's also got, like, a really nice, like, lemon lime. I would zest. say lemon. It's got, like, a zesty lemon yeah. lime. Like, it's got, like, a zingy yeah. kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely, sweet, like, sweet, that citrusy, soury, like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Shit, yeah, it's like zingy. Yeah, yeah lemon lime. This, it's gotta have some pills and malt in it. It smells really good. You guys want to try it? Hell yeah, it smells good. Cheers, everyone. Good. Cheers, everybody. What does Swilling Grout say? Now, the most important part of the review of the taste test. Cheers. Cheers, Tanner. Cheers, Foxman. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. Cheers, John Boy. Oh, that's Ooh, good. Wow. That, that is oh, that's wow. sour. Yeah, that is wow. That's sour, right? That's not sour. That's fantastic. That's nice. That's yeah, actually it, smooth. Like it's that. not bad. It has a nice sour and then Ooh, it has there's, a smooth. There's, there's that astringency. You get like is a little that, bit of tartness, but that is very smooth. Pointy. I like the fruit. It's like um maybe. I get like a cherry like in there. Grapefruit. Like, cherry? No, I get like a cherry. Yeah. yeah. I get like grapefruit. I would say yes. We don't. A little bit like a little bit like grapefruit, but like I get like that like cherry kind of. Cherry like, grapefruit lemon. Like, yeah, like. Ooh. 
It's got like that rip, like um, a nice like yeasty, end, like Ooh, yeah, kind of yeasty backbone. Yeah, yeast dough. I'm yeah. trying to deter- I'm trying to figure out what that is on the top that of the, my mouth that I'm it's getting in the thing. kind of burning. The acidity is freaking. But it's burning like Sanders. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, edit this one out. <laughs> no, it's red like Flanders. Keep it up there, Mister Eric. I like this guy. But what do you guys think of the sour? Because that's typically something. It's so dry that it doesn't even last that long. That's usually flavor. what puts them apart from others. Is the the, the, the sourness up front? I like is, it. It's is, not too much. It's short lived. The effervescence of it kind of like and the dryness. I of wish it, it was kinda, more carbonated. Yeah, it really. Yeah, a little bit more carbonation in it. it it's it's pretty spritzy. You think so? It is, yeah. it is pretty spritzy, but it's very champagne. This is like a, for me, like a, this is a dangerous beer. Like I yeah, you are right. Yeah, it is kind of like champagne. I could drink like a whole bottle of this. Six one eight or five point five. I mean, which right. really wouldn't do anything, but like <laughs> if you pay, if you pay like thirty bucks for that bottle, like <laughs> I think it was uh I want to say fifteen to twenty. It's probably right around eighteen good, uh, dollars, good maybe deal, eighteen bucks. Good deal for that bottle. Yeah. As I mean, far as the barrel age, do you guys get any like the oak? No, so <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of lacking on like the oak. What, which, what year was this from? Does it say? 2022. Yeah, you said 2022. You yeah. said June 22. So, I was so that's a that couple years old, Mr. Yeah. Fan. Yeah, too. Tastes good. I don't, I'm not getting a woody presence. Yeah, here. I just get a, like, just like that open air, like tart saison. The open tank fermentation? Okay. Definitely a wild. Yeah, no, 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 and that's, the, that's exactly what I was about to say. Like, it's definitely wild. I think it's wild yeast. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's, that's what the wild means. Yeah. Hell yeah. They open up that tank and whatever's in the air. It's almost like a glass of lemonade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's more, like, yeah, but it's, it's more like, of like a crisp like lemonade I would want to drink. Like, that's yeah. like a, I mean, you kind of get like that warmthness, which is like, I guess could be like that barrel. Mm. I'm like, saying like the the drinkability of it. Yeah. It's like yeah. a lemonade. It's not, that yeah, but it's, 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 your, not, it's not super like light and like. Area, like it's not you, sugary on your yeah, teeth you, you like a lemonade. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're gonna say like it, it definitely would like if you compare it to lemonade, like it's definitely a barrel aged lemonade, like barrel aged lemonade. Barrel aged Damn, lemonade. that sounds yeah. awesome. Um, <laughs> With Jim Beam, you get like that. Like if you if you compare it to lemonade, it is like a darker flavor. But if you compare it to like just a beer, or like a saison, like yeah, it's a little bit like. Light, not as oaky as you know yeah. a barrel age would be, but yeah, you would expect. I think yeah. you would expect a little bit more astringency, a little bit more of the oak, white kind of oak tannins kind of coming through. White peppercorn, yeah, yeah. I, I, as it a spice the, element, yeah. there's a little bit of a spice there. Yeah, uh, I like it though. It works with a the pepper grassy. spice, a pepper like seasoning spice. Cracked uh, pepper. Spice. What do you guys think about as, uh, as far as the number? What do you guys want to score? Anybody can go. So I would say if like doing untapped rating, like, that would probably be a uh, four point twenty five out of five for me. Ooh, yeah, nice. I'm gonna go four out of five. Nice. What do you guys think? You wanna go next? Yeah. We got some stuff to say, buddy. I, I really like it. In a sense, because I, I don't like the sourness, but the sour it doesn't go away too fast. I mean, it goes away mm. pretty quick. It's so. a quick drip. It, ma- it makes me go back for more, and that's fine. It's very it's a thirst quencher, but still, yeah. it still dries your palate mm. out a little this bit. This is a thirst quencher. Yeah. Um, I will do this. I will give this a beer a 90. It's a good beer. Yeah. If you guys can get it, please do, obviously. But, yeah, you don't have to close your tanner if you want Un- to do that. Here. Unless... Sure. You can do something different in mm-hmm. how it was barrel aged. There's mm-hmm. no point to barrel age this. It didn't really do right. anything. It didn't add. Oh, it didn't add anything. Uh, it didn't add anything to. Yeah, the I feel beer. like maybe it just kind of rounded out more. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah I, I see what you're saying. Though. It is a very thirst quenching beer. There's a nice tart acidity to it. The finish is nice and dry and quick, and it does make you want to come back for more. I think initially, maybe it would turn some people off with the tartness to it, but if you think about it as lemonade is tart, that's a way better way to probably assess that. So, 93? I really like that. I think I've had the non-barrel age, but I really do like boxhorn beer. So. I'm going to go I'm gonna go 92. Huh? Um, with that being said, I think... It's a little bit more on the sour side for my liking. I wish the uh, city was tamed a little bit. 
and I got a little bit more of barrel aged version, of course. Yeah. A little bit, like I said, a little bit more like that oak kind of astringency coming through to just kind of round out that acidity. And then also, it doesn't have that like really barnyardy funk that. I kind of like in um, some farmhouse. It's not heavy, yeah. It's yeah. like false promises of that. Ooh. You know? I think this is meant to be more of just like a kind of lighter, refreshing version of the style. Um, but true yeah, farmhouse. I, I, I still, Literally, I, okay. I, I still okay. think it's like a 92. I think it's really good. It's totally worth it. And I'm glad to no, that's a good share good. it with you guys. and. Thank you. Good deal. Well, thank you, my it's man. Worth uh, bringing this far. And... I think it's very tasty, and because you keep telling me that these beers are good. Fox Farm, yeah, Fox Farm, awesome. Farm awesome. good stuff, and they do like different styles too. That's why I really like them. They're Germain, not... a lot of Germanic styles yeah. in IPAs, like New England. Uh, exactly. A lot of the breweries where we're at, it's like IPA stout, IPA stout, IPA stout. It's nice when um, you see something like. If this. I remember correctly, Mr. Tanner, I, I believe it's the same place that across the way from the brewery itself. There's actual. Um, Stuff on the ground, right? Like, I, I think, I think, I don't remember you. Marco pulled a lot of us, and it's on an actual farm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I, it's a huge, it's a huge land. I yeah. think so. I don't remember. It's a big land. Yeah, it's Fox there. Farm, Salem, Connecticut. Okay. That's where we went beer to Palooza oh, last year. A couple of literal yeah. farmhouses over there. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Cheers, guys. Check them out. Like I said, I'll uh, leave a link or uh, leave their tags in the description down below link to their channels and uh yeah if there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel make sure to leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos like a beer first before we sign off we got alex take wants to say something this is alex the beer master and we will see you all on the next live stream and the next video this is alex the beer master signing out cheers, cheers everybody. everybody cheers go flyers Ugh.